Cool. Um, is everybody here? It looks a bit... Oh, some numbers. This is a platoon frizz. Is it? I thought I'd know that by now after how many years I've been playing. Cool, we've all got section commanders here. Hello. Hello. Yep. Sweet. Okay then, let's know uh, off order four. Uh, op peacemaker part four. Our current location uh, in the north, uh, Fold Fortress, same as previously. Uh, relatively benign area, so not anticipating enemy contact uh, at any time during the O group. If, however, we do come under contact, then just bomb Buster uh, or out of fence and wait for further orders. Uh, ground specifically for this operation is going to be uh, the large town of Cropina to the south, that's centered on grid 049064, uh, which is an industrial uh, town. Uh, and there's some sort of tin pot, weirdo, cheapskate. German car company there, which is largely irrelevant, um, but uh, uh, probably more relevant to that is there's about company strength of mechanized uh, in infantry um, who are in and around the town, so they're not all going to be inside, uh, they're going to be doing patrols within boundaries, uh, boundaries marked by that red line, uh, forward line of enemy troops. Uh, they're well dug in, so we're expecting uh, bunker systems uh, dug in, uh, fortified buildings, um, BTRs, BMPs, BRDMs, armoured vehicles of some kind, uh, plus a Tonk, uh, main battle tank, uh, which is last seen to the northwest, 042059. So that's a single tank that we know about. Uh, the area around the town is largely open, uh, which affords good visibility for us. Um, if we had a fire support group, then probably would have been quite useful, but we don't. Um, but might also provide good overwatch for things like Javelin, uh, that will be carried by two sections tonight. Our mission is quite simple, we have to move in uh, with support from C Company, uh, clear through the town, uh, remove all enemy presence and then get offensive and wait in for further orders. We are expecting potential enemy counterattack coming from the west down that main supply route, uh, so we will be setting up defensive positions uh, to the western side of town, uh, using or reusing enemy uh, defensive locations uh, to prevent any enemy from reinvesting into the town itself. As mentioned, we do have support from C Company. They are currently holed up to the east on the 066 Easting, uh, and C Company will be on call. Uh, they also have with them uh, an M1A1, that's actually an Abrams, um, should we require it. Initially, the intent is to uh, insert by helicopter. Uh, we'll be landing somewhere to the northeast of town to be confirmed. I'll just dictate that in a minute. Uh, so once the O group is done uh, and we've kissed up and just go chalk up behind the Chinook, we should get the whole platoon into the single Chinook, move to the HLF, dismount and then conduct dismounted advanced contact, uh, probably from somewhere to the north, um, coming in from around spot height 175. Thereafter it's going to be pretty much standard MUC, uh, so as with normal close quarters battle, uh, command and control will be uh, devolved down to the lowest level, so I'll be looking to set your commanders to ensure that you communicate uh, and control your way across the town. Uh, we'll use Eastings as report lines, so as you cross each report line just call them up so we can then coordinate across the platoon. Uh, initially I intend to have uh, one section and two section up front, uh, with one section north of the road. Uh, two section south or east of the road and we're using that main supply the route that goes in um, from the north to south uh, and thereafter uh, three section uh, to be determined with you but um, anticipating either putting you to what I think is a power station in 050058 to the north to ensure that's clear uh, or fading that to the south of the town uh, so we can have three sections up uh, for the clearance through the main railway station area the one two section initially doing the break in uh, with three section reserve uh, and then followed by uh, three section piling in so we can clear through with three sections up. Once we enter the port area, uh, we we'll, might have to rejig a little bit, uh, but depending on the tactical situation uh, and what's going on, uh, we'll assess on, on the ground and uh, give orders accordingly. Main commander's critical information requirements, CCIRs, if you spot any enemy armour, particularly main battle tank, then let me know immediately, uh, and then we'll get two sections with a javelin to move to a position where they can neutralise it. We do not have any top cover tonight, um, so that's no close air support that I know of, although mortars are available. 
We won't be using mortars in the built-up area. There is a civilian presence. Uh, make sure you PID your targets and avoid civilian casualties. Um, but if you spot any enemy out in the open area, then feel free to call in for mortars and we'll drop it on them. As mentioned, if the situation becomes too difficult or to the point where we are largely secure in town, then I'll call in C Company uh, and the Tonk to support us uh, and uh, assist with setting up the defensive area uh, for the second half of the mission. Um, oh yeah, just spotted the HLS Silver. It's uh, currently uh, secured by one platoon up at grid 038043. That's 038043. So we'll be heading uh, southeast by foot from there. Um, same detail, they're heading towards spot height 175 uh, using that power station as an entry point into the town. Things to be aware of, uh, there is potential minefield around the area. Um, we're assured by ISR that it has been marked, uh, so watch out for that one. Um, make sure you identify it worth taking Valons just in case uh, so you can check likely entry points. Suspect that the north and west of the town is most likely to be mined, hence we're coming from the northeast. Coordinating instructions, no change. Only thing to be aware of, obviously, if you are a T4, you'll find yourself back in this location, which is a fairly long range, so you might find yourself out of comms range, certainly on the personal roll radio. Uh, you can always find yourself a long range radio or get on board a vehicle and use the vehicle borne radio to try and get hold of the uh, platoon headquarters, which is on 77.9 uh, megahertz, so you have to change the frequency to 77.9. If you can't get comms with us, um, then hopefully your section commanders will have identified that you are uh, T4 and at the normal uh, BCI timings, 2100 hours and 2145, I will be sending the helicopter back to headquarters so you can mount up and come down here. So make sure you're around uh, and don't get left behind. Otherwise, casualties, uh, you're going to have to coordinate with the two ICs. We don't have a platoon sergeant tonight, so make sure you liaise with, uh, with one for Alpha. Uh, he'll be setting up CCPs, casualty collection points, as per normal. Uh, so get your casualties extracted by, back to those points, and then you can deal with them. Uh, without a platoon sergeant, comms uh, and coordination with the admin is going to be fairly important. Down to two ICs tonight. I'll do what I can to help. To help. Um, Commander 6, no change. So... Uh, if I disappear uh, then and you don't hear from me for a couple of minutes, then just uh, do a quick ready check. If I'm not responding, uh, then whoever is the lead section commander, take over uh, until I get back on that. Anybody got any questions on any of the above? Nope. Cool. Time now is coming up for... 20 minutes to 5 in game o'clock. It's going to be daylight throughout the operation, so you can safely ditch your night vision equipment. At least, bloody well hope it is. Um, otherwise, I'm going to sound like a bit of a tit. I don't even see anything. Go away, square away your kit, and then uh, chalk up behind the Chinook, and we'll move off in about 5 minutes. Where's the kit? So fast, so fast. Back in a second. Cool. Right, the section ready to check tonight. All right, all right. All, your all right, ready to check. He's waving his arms about. What? Oh, <laughs> Can't see that. I think he's stuck. He is 500 meters away, which is just about within range. Oh, he's got a machine gun too. Do you want me to shoot him? There we go. <laughs> oh, yes. One shot, one kill. Go on, no pressure. I'll catch you some film for all time. Oh, shame. No. Oh. <laughs> Fair. Tragic. I'll still put it on film and put it on the net for everybody to see. You didn't get any monster shots earlier, Charles. That's the oh, one. Wow, nice. Who, who was ah, that? I'll maybe I'll cut this video. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I won't. 